Hollywood's favorite friend. Let's start the show! And now, if anything, I would say in this movie, you're even more out there. Particularly that you say stuff yeah, in I, this I, movie. Yeah, I verbally kind of pushed the um, envelope, I guess, yeah. Were you embarrassing some, some of that stuff? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of it stuff were sort we of saying? Fun. Take it easy. <laughs> Song to sing. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, you could, I wouldn't dare say anything okay. like that to you. Um, it, it, it was. The... You've broken a young boy's heart. No, I just wouldn't want to Anna offend Zipper. you. Oh, I wouldn't. No. Uh, <laughs> now, this I find unbelievable that Jason, when you were filming with Jennifer, you did not spot her jewelry in this scene. You didn't... I know. You... Who here knows what that is? Ollie Murs. Uh, is it a cock ring? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've actually been really like... Uh, Honestly. Yeah. Is it really? That's what that is. Cool. <laughs> no one here knew that, that, right? so multi... It's no so... one here knew that. Did I've anyone used... know that? No. Uh, that's a good answer. <laughs> Did anyone spot it during the day? Yes, they did. The, well, none, everyone else kept saying, that's a really nice necklace. That's gorgeous. Yeah. And Sudeikis, of course, walks right up to me and he goes, is that a cock ring? <laughs> and I said, really? Well, you've just given me some insight into your sweet personal life. So. Yeah. <laughs> All I knew what it was, too. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassed right now. <laughs> Oh, poor uh, Ollie. Yeah, I know. Why would you do this to me every I'm time? I'm sorry. I guess it's no fine. one told you life was going to be this way. We've been here since five o'clock rehearsal. Has <laughs> this been? You guys have been rehearsing. <laughs> That was, that was really good. Do that again. Uh, so I guess no one told you life is going to be this way. Woo! I'm going to get the next one. Right, we'll get yeah, the we next did one. We did this. We get it. Yeah. Um, so, so actually, so here's the game now. I'm not going to say it again. But if anyone else wants to feed it into conversation, <laughs> don't let me down. <laughs> you did really good so far. <laughs> don't spoil it. What is the line again? <laughs> oh, uh, no one ever told you life is going to be. Uh, look at. I, I look at me. I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> I told you life was gonna be this way. You guys are good. <laughs> to the point where it may it. become annoying. <laughs> I could do this all night. I'm gonna wear Dame Judy Dench out on that one. <laughs> Bring it on. Now, uh, Amelia Clark, did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. Hi. 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 <laughs> I'm actually blushing. Um, yeah, I just think you're wicked. <laughs> it's a game of two halves. Uh, I, I think Dominic's wicked. Oh. 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 Yeah. baby yes. in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, now, is it your daughter? I'm sure you like Matt LeBlanc too, Kate. Hugely. But your, your daughter is quite the fan. Huge fan. She's a big friend's obsessive. Mm -hmm. She could go and master. Are you? Yes. Oh, we should have a <laughs> <laughs> Dominic, do you have a relative, a friend who's a fan of Matt's? Oh, many, 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 many. I mean, All I think right. my mum would pass out now if she knew I was sitting here with you. And I'm obsessed with the new job you've got, which I really, really wanted. Oh. oh I yeah. shouldn't have said that out loud, should I? Yeah. I mean, it's the best job in the world. Working in the coffee shop, the one in... The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the new one. The top it's gear. Fun. And uh, are you returning the favour? Do you watch Game of Thrones, Matt? I watched it the first season, and then I kind of fell out of it, and then I tried to watch it this that's season. Okay, that's okay. And I don't know that's what's okay. going on. I can't keep up. I feel There's so lots bad. of stuff going on. There's so yeah. much going on. There is. There really is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I, mean, right. I, I could lie, but I don't want to lie. I'm a no, lie. no, no, no. You've seen the good. You've seen the good bits. You've seen the first season. <laughs> no, I, it's, it's all downhill from there. No, but this, what is it? It's season six now. It's season six. And it's bigger than ever. Yeah. Whose laugh is that? <laughs> that <laughs> seriously sounds like a chicken has been released into the studio. That's not they right. can't be. No. Is that a, I, I thought it was going to stop because I thought there was a mechanical fault or something. <laughs> but that's a human being. <laughs> Oh, it's that man there. All oh, right, well, I'm glad you're having Lovely. a nice time. <laughs> yeah.
yuck it up. I will. I will. <laughs> I, will. I, will no, watch, so, I promise. I know. No, I know. I do have one slight request from you, though. What's that? Um, so, would you would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? Oh <laughs> yes, do that. Oh. You, you can say no. Everyone will hate you, but you can say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, since I, you know. Haven't been up up to speed on the show. Well, yes, I will say, thank um, you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I caught that from back yeah, here. It worked. Yes, it did. <laughs> it went what, well. what was really embarrassing <laughs> is when Matt walked out. I went, "How are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> And then I was like, oh, shut up. What are you doing? <laughs> Matthew, well, now, you haven't been here before. You have been in London not many times. I did, yes. I did a play here in 2003. OK. And by the way, have you, have you, have you chatted out the back a bit? Very briefly. Yeah. <laughs> OK. I, okay. I've, I don't know you. We don't know each other, do no, we? we don't. No, we not, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> but I'm very pleased to meet you. Well, it's very, nice to very, meet you, too. Very pleased. And I think you're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> You're lovely too. Thank Feeling you. Good. That's good. There we leave our show. Uh, while it's all going well, let's stop. He didn't say I look lovely. <laughs> she was very pleased to meet you. That's true. Yes, what it's What the fuck do you want? <laughs> uh, now we're going to talk about your play, uh, yes. Matthew, but uh, later. Because you've never been here before, there will be a couple of friends questions okay, along the way. Okay, that's fine. And just to let you know, on the sofa, it's quite yin and yang. Gemma Arton over there, you lived and breathed friends. I mean, you were a big fan. I was the generation of friends. I mean, I'm 30 in two weeks, but when I was a kid, I was in the age... I had Rachel hair cut the lot. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't a good period. No? <laughs> <laughs> and then... Miriam is one of those people. You must be in such a tiny minority in the world. I've never seen friends. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not possible. You must, well, have, you must have woken you... up in a hotel room and it was just on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you some episodes in a hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you why. Um, many years ago, I lived in America, yes. in, in Los Angeles, and I was part of the stable of comedy people um, of Norman Lear. And he introduced me to Marta Kaufman and David Crane. Yes. And I really liked David Crane, and I couldn't stand Marta Kaufman. Oh, I thought right. she was a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm actually know. quite a lovely woman. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't say anything. I won't. <laughs> no need, I'd have thought at this point. Keeping <laughs> on telly and all. I think it's been said. <laughs> David Schrimmer, uh, you've never been on the show before. I've not. Thanks for never inviting me. Oh no, that can't be true. That can't be true. No, no, I'm, I'm really, I'm really. Well, we're very nice Thank to you. see you. But, yeah. <laughs> And here's a weird thing. I, you don't meet many of these people. David Trimmer, you are sitting next door to a unicorn. Uh, Mark Ruffalo, tell David an interesting fact about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know the fact. I come from Kenosha, Wisconsin. That's one of them. No, you've uh, never seen Friends, have you? I wish you must have seen, you must have seen, like, a, you must have seen. I've, I've seen a lot of parts of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, no, no, it's no, not I you. Don't, it's, it's totally it's fine. Me. It's, I, I, but that I'm must okay. be rare. It is. It's, I think I'm the, I'm, prob I'm the only one okay, in this I've audience. OK, I've got an admission to make, OK? Um, when I was sent the, uh, the script of episodes, and I read the first, uh, ed the first episode of episodes, and it said, uh, and who's going to be in your show? Matt LeBlanc. And I did have to Google him. No! <laughs> So, yeah, we're I'm so together. sorry, David. It's only supposed to be no, one I, person. I, I, and then the rest of the show was just going to be bigging you up. You've but seen now, it, right? You've seen Nick, do you know who he is? <laughs> sorry, which, which sitcom is this? <laughs> I'm, I'm, OK, I'm going to get a DVD yeah. set to... to yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, Ross and Friends, one of the things that people keep asking you about going back. But you don't need to, cos it, it's... It's still, was it 15 years since you did the last episode? Yeah. And it's still on, people are still coming to it. It's like you are still making it. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, 
it must be the odd, it must be the weirdest thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very similar to being a superhero. <laughs> uh, in some of the biggest movies in the world. Um, no, I'm a fan, by the way, of all the movies, so Thank you. all of them. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch them all tonight. <laughs> yeah, binge watch. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's, look, it's, uh, we're, we're both uh, um, surprised, uh, the whole cast, just really surprised and also overjoyed that the show is still finding an audience. and. And younger generations are are finding something fun about it. Really. But also, you must meet people who are so young and like they're watching for the first my time. My daughters. Mm -hmm. My daughter watches it. And well, that that you yeah. would think that's like a fun well. father daughter activity. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it's not. Yeah. He he got me. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when you when you're you're sort of uh, Matthew Perry and you're so incredibly famous, you imagine you won't get starstruck when you meet people. But you did. Is it the director, the famous director, M Night? Oh yes, M Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. That's yes. What say. yes. Yes. Well, I have a story about M Night Shyamalan. Do you guys know who that is? Yeah. Yeah. The guy who directed Sixth Sense. Yeah. Uh, it, and in this story, I drop a few names, so I apologize in advance for this. Okay. But about. 15 years ago, when The Sixth Sense came out, Bruce Willis won the People's Choice Award for Best Actor, and he asked me to present the award to him, so I did, and I went backstage that night, and I met Haley Joel Osment from the movie, and I met M. Night Shyamalan. And about six months later, I was at this bar, this is back when I was drinking, and I was with a couple of friends, and M. Night Shyamalan walked in. And he said, hi, Matthew. And I went, oh, my God, hi, how are you? Please sit down, join us. And he sat down and he joined us. And we sat there for about an hour talking. And I noticed my friends sort of filtered out. And then it was just me and M. Night Shyamalan for about another hour. And I noticed we weren't talking about show business or anything. We were just kind of talking about women and love and loss and life and all that. And he mentioned that there was another club opening across town, and would I like to go with him? And I said, sure, I'd love to go with you. And I had this weird moment, which I never had, have had before, where I was convinced that I was going to be a big movie star as a result of this night. <laughs> because he was laughing at all my jokes. He really was sort of into me. I think he might have been a big Friends fan. He was really liking me. Yeah. And so we get to the next place, and I felt comfortable enough, sort of drunk enough, to say, we should work together sometime. And he kind of went like this. <laughs> and I remember going, oh, I wish I hadn't said that. <laughs> and then he went to the bathroom, and a friend of mine came up to me and said, uh, how's your night going? And I said, what are you kidding? I'm having the greatest night of my life. M. Night Shyamalan and I have been hanging out for the last two and a half hours. It's been great. And the guy, M. Night Shyamalan, came back from the bathroom, and my friend said, that's not M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't. <laughs> it was just an Indian gentleman <laughs> who looked a lot like M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> and I had said to him, let's work together. <laughs> And it turned out he was a maitre d' at a local restaurant. <laughs> Have you ever seen him again since? No, but I've seen the guy, and we always look at each other like jilted lovers. <laughs> I'm sure you know we've had lots of stars of your movies on the show. And yeah. then I wasn't sure whether you knew this or not, but apparently you do, that Matthew Perry was on the show and told this yeah. extraordinary anecdote involving uh, him thinking he would spent a night with you, but apparently there is, you do know about it, and there is an M. Night Shyamalan twist to this anecdote. Well, yeah, this is, so he went on your show and he tells the story of being out with me all night, <laughs> and then at the end of the night, he's having the greatest time, and at the end of the night, he meets one of his friends, and, and his friend's like, how's it going? And he says, it's the greatest night of my life. I've been hanging out with M. Night Shyamalan. And then the guy turns and says, that's not M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> and he's been hanging out with a random Indian dude all night long. <laughs> but but that, so then I'm watching it and here's the twist. We did actually hang out. That's, that's what's, that's actually what's so astonishing. Okay, so 
I've I've pieced it together and I have a a, a amateur sleuth uh, answer for what happened. So we were hanging out, we we were hanging out and we were we were having fun and and then we Matthew's like let's go to another place. And I'm like, "Um, you know what? I'm I'm a little tired. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to leave here and you can go to the other place." Meanwhile, there's this kind of fan that's been hanging about and he's also Indian. And he's been a big fan. He's come over a couple times, wants to hang out with us and we're like, "Hey, hey, it's okay, brother." And and he's over there and <laughs> what I think happened is that Matthew went on to continue partying and this other Indian dude joined, joined him. And then later in that evening, his friend came over and said, that's not M. Night Shyamalan. And then Matthew thought he, he second guessed himself that we actually had this evening together. So all these years later, I have to see him because I'm, we did hang out. We had a great time and he was very funny. Matt LeBlanc, on, on Friends, Joey, obviously at it. A lot. He, everything, he, everything. Everything. Yeah. But uh, what was the worst thing you had to eat on on Friends? Uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the trifle thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, a, you know, there's a really funny story with that. So when we, <laughs> when we were shooting that scene, uh, this is the meat trifle. Rachel, there's yeah. two pages of the cookbook get stuck together. <laughs> There's a meat dish and a dessert oh. dish, and she makes half and half of each and mixes it together. Oh, so it's like a meat trifle with whipped crisp. Oh, no. Really nasty. <laughs> but what we were actually eating was not that. It was, story-wise, it was just like whipped cream and some bananas or something. So Ross is saying he doesn't like it, and Rachel hears him and it hurts her feelings, but he doesn't want to hurt her feelings, so he, has, he eats the whole thing. He says, no, 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 it's delicious, and eats it all. But there was too much on his plate. So... <laughs> He starts to eat it all, and he can't finish it, and he starts laughing. So we cut, and as we were cutting, he kind of spits it back on his plate like that. But, and I'm sitting right next to him, and I didn't, I'm looking the other way. I oh, didn't no. see him spit it back on his plate, <laughs> right? So I take his plate, I go, give it to me, and I scrape some on my plate. I go, here, let's go again. And we go again, and now I'm eating it. <laughs> and we finish the take. No one says anything. <laughs> Cut to the rap party, and we're watching the <laughs> blooper reel. And I'm watching, I'm going, oh, I remember this, this is funny. <laughs> I go find him at the party, I go, well, nobody ever told me that. And so... Even in the papers this week, you know, 12 years after Friends yeah. stopped, it's now in the papers all this week because this is rumoured reunion that you're getting together. Yes. Is that true or no? No, that's not true. Because you'll be here, won't you? I'm going to be here, yes. That, that, it's not the Friends reunion that everybody's hoping for. It's, uh, they're celebrating Jim Burroughs, who was a director of Friends, and the five of them are going to be on this special, and I'm going to introduce them from here, because I'm doing the play here, so I can't be there. That's a really good excuse as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it probably won't be a reunion. Maybe there will, but like so many big hits, Friends lives on uh, in its porn parody. Uh, this is no, true. This it's, is very true. Yeah, I think it, maybe it's even more than one porn parody. It's, it's very popular. Well, there's one that I'm familiar with. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one here. Is you it do? that one? What is that called? Friends at XXX Parody. No, the one I know about is called Fiends. Fiends. <laughs> <laughs> And in it, all the characters are having sex with each other, except for Chandler, who's just sitting in the corner masturbating. <laughs> Gemma, you're a fan. Would you like a copy of this? Oh, fiends. <laughs> no. Can I look? This sounds quite good, though. Listen to this. The comedy flies, as do the bodily fluids. <laughs> Hilarity and deep penetration ensues. <laughs> you can have it. Go on. It's still in. Oh no, it's not out of its cover oh, now. Here, I think you should have this. <laughs> Actually, I've made my own. <laughs> well, Miriam's been in a lot of porn. Oh really? I yeah. didn't realize that. Only the that. audio, though. Only the audio. Uh, yes, okay. I have never. I've never actually done it in front of a camera. <laughs> but you make the sounds of I it. I make the sounds, and I'm not doing it now. No. <laughs> 
I wasn't going to and, ask. Um, you brought it up, Miriam. I, <laughs> I'd rather watch your show. All right. Than, I don't than... think anybody really mm. wants this. But do you want it? No. No. But we don't. Here, you, you can what, have this. Auction, no, auction if we, no, if, we, if we leave it there, by the end of the show, that'll be gone. <laughs> 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 big thing. It's 25 years since Friends. And we sort of forget that Friends was kind of... It was a big kind of calling card for you. It was a big deal in your life. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, the, you know, it, it was. It was an, an incredible thing to be a part of, and the whole experience seemed a bit surreal and a bit of a blur in my memory because I really... I was only coming on for a couple of episodes. It turned into a few more. Yeah. But it was nearing the end of the show, and the show was a phenomenon and popular, you know... And you were saying that uh, the, the main cast obviously got very emotional towards the end. Well, during that last episode, I, I was in the last episode, which made no sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> but uh, I, in the news, they were talking about, well, you know, now they're filming the last episode of Friends, and it was a really incredible... I, I was on the soundstage, and I'd see, you know, Jennifer Aniston crying, and hugging Marta Kaufman, the creator, and I thought, I'm not supposed to be here, and I would... <laughs> but to kind of break the ice, I would just go over and say, oh, we did it, huh? What a, what a ride. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes inevitably fell flat. But... This is like a Friends trivia. Oh, 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 oh she's gonna win. Oh, I yeah. don't know that. <laughs> so it's Friends trivia. You're no, gonna... well, really, I think <laughs> you, you... There's some, for you, there's some you'll know. Oh, if yeah. they don't know, then I'm sure the audience will know. Okay, now, do you hear the questions? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, so, Julie, no cheating. Uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I see you're, you're all competing. Yeah, yeah, I know the answer, so I can't so, compete. So, uh, I'd like you to put your hand up if you know the answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then I'll ask you. Is that fair enough? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are okay. you ready, Julie? Yes, sort of, yes. Question. What is Rachel wearing in her first ever scene? Oh. Oh, Rachel. Oh, I can't answer that. Yes, you can. A if wedding you know, dress. No, I would. A wedding dress is the correct answer. Well done, well done. Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> next question. What is the next line? This is you. After this is about you being a brat wanting <gasps> what you can't have. Reese. Can't have. The only thing I can't have is dairy. Correct. Because yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said it on the show. One of the best, best lines. I said that line on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, how did Rachel ruin the British trifle? Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Uh, <laughs> I put I I I the uh, I put beef in it. Beef uh, in in at the bottom. I layered beef into the trifle. Well, you didn't. You didn't. Uh, you put shepherd's pie. Oh in right. It. And yeah. shepherd's pie is not made with beef. It's made with lamb. Sheep oh. lamb. Is <laughs> He's firm but fair. <laughs> and you, you'd expect a landlord to know that. Story. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what song does Rachel sing to get her daughter to stop crying? Baby got back. Like Baby it. got back is the correct answer. Yeah, that's one for the audience. And for a bonus point, Jennifer, would you like to sing the opening line of the song? Uh... I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> there you go, extra point. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant the opening line of the theme song. Oh. Because okay. I could have told you that. Do you want to sing that? <laughs> so no one told you that it's gonna be this way. Yes. Oh! oh. <laughs> On it! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you got one last one? Yes, and this is for you. For, you, for me? Julie. Oh. Yeah. The question is, when Ross dated Rachel, why did he feel it was fine to sleep with oh. other women? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I know it. It's... I know. Because he said we were on a break. Correct! Yes. Then Julie Andrew wins. She wins. Oh, yes, our souvenir. Yes, our souvenir. Yeah. Yeah. Mementos. Mementos for everybody. Very good.